Hey everyone, the name's Eric Dorr and I like to call this video ESTPs Why? Because I think that ESTPs get a lot of shit in the MBTI communities and it's not really deserved. It's not that ESTPs are uh, as uh, crazy as the stereotypes depict them. Through this as uh, sensing types, as sensing extroverts, as sensing perceivers. ESTPs are pretty much uh, the definition of normality in a sense. ESTPs have a huge amount of variations within them of course with both positive and negative variations. And I will go over some common healthy patterns in the ESTP as well as some common emotional drives in the ESTP. Now, I believe that ESTPs beyond being explorer types, extroverted perceivers who desire quickness, speed, mobility, adaptation, flexibility and the ability to see things from different angles to be ready for whatever comes. ESTPs are also sensing thinking types in the sense that they desire, they value practical, traditional ways of solving problems. ESTPs have beyond this four cognitive functions. The first is a uh, cognitive function uh, from being a thinking, perceiving type. Uh, introverted thinking as it is, is often called, which is the ability to see different ways to solve a problem. Okay, something is not working correctly. What different strategies could we use to solve this problem? Beyond this, ESTPs are sensing perceiving types, extroverted sensors, and that puts them in the position of being having what I would like to call tennis intelligence. Sensing perceivers are good at when a ball is approaching, turning and adjusting to make sure it doesn't hit them. Uh, sensing perceiving is in many ways about uh, making do with what options you have. And do not think of counter alternatives, but when presented with different options, know and uh, manage these options in a good way. It's also kind of like survival in a sense, in its focus. It's uh, about, uh, it's a very artisan-like function. It's, uh, okay, this is what I have. I got five eggs, I got two broccolis. Okay, what do I do with this? It's um, always in the sense that uh, sensing and perceiving values and estimates what it has in the present moment and what uh, the most likely change is. It's uh, deeply about anticipation for the sensing perceiving type. Anticipating the coming action. Anticipating a common uh, likely scenario. ESTPs have two other unexplored cognitive functions. The first being coming from being a thinking and extroverted type. Thinking and extroverted types like the ENTJ, the ENTP and the ESTJ as well as the ESTP have a high desire for results. They are very good at understanding charts, statistics, data, real tangible visible results that something is working, objective proof that you've done something well, a promotion, uh, increase in wage and salary, uh, more muscles on the body, something that tells you you've done something and you have got a physical visible proof that you've done it, a graduation certificate from your university, something that just tells you you managed to do something. And beyond this, with thinking perceiving, it's for many, in many ways for the ESTP about acquiring skills. Thinking perceiving types want to be skilled at what they do, they want to be capable, they want to be able to solve any problem, to be ready for any kind of technical issue, to have any skill necessary to get the job done. ESTPs uh, finally have one fourth cognitive function which, which comes from being a sensing and extroverted type. They share it with ESTJs, with ESFJs, with ESFPs and well with themselves, the ESTPs. Sensing and extroverted types are in many ways 
going to love nature in some way or form. It's a function in many ways about uh, navigating the room, understanding the room, what is in the room, what is available to me, what do I can I see if I look around me. What are the different fruits? What are the different forms of trees? What are the different uh, uh, people? What do they look like? Uh, what are the characteristics of the room? Where is the door? How far away from me is the door? <laughs> and uh, like this question of uh, where I am right now and what it looks like and what's happening in it right now, if I would describe it, the ability to describe what you're seeing in a way that uh, other people can so even so viscerally so that other people can see it themselves. ESTPs are really visual types, tangible types that are really good at understanding information that is given to them. Uh, raw, real, immediate information, pressing information about sounds, noises, smells uh, uh, and all kinds of actions around them. It's about balance, it's about uh, how the room operates. ESTPs are charming in many ways. I found that ESTPs are surprisingly going to have a very charming side. Uh, they are a little sometimes prone to bragging, to being a little arrogant and to feeling like they can do anything in the world. At the same time, ESTPs don't necessarily have big aspirations for power. It's not that ESTPs want to land the best job, to have the best position. It's that they want to get respect for what they do, to have fun doing it and to be good at it. To improve at it, to advance, to learn new things, to be ready for whatever comes up and to have in many ways uh, something concrete from what you do to get results from what you do. It's not that ESTPs tend to be um, in this sense uh, about uh, being power figures. Uh, very few ESTPs are actually attracted to power in that sense but they do love to be in the center of the crowd. It's the most fun for the ESTP when they can feel like all eyes are on them, that th people are listening to them, that people are taking in their words, their sounds, their actions, their movements, that people are looking at them and liking what they see, and that uh, it's um, that people are drawn to them, that people feel uh, like here where I'm standing, just where the ESTP is standing right now, is where the party is. In the ESTP emotional life you'll find two core driving emotions and the ESTPs in particular desire and this is interesting because it says a lot about the ESTP. The ESTP desires to know that they've made the best out of the situation. That they've used everything at their disposal, that they've done their best, that they have given what they could at the present situation. ESTPs also decide to be relaxed and carefree, to make sure that uh, they can enjoy the moment as it is, to just be in the moment, to just have fun at the party, to not have to dwell on uh, problems, potential dangers, harms and issues, to have it all under control. Sensing perceiving types don't necessarily seek to control the situation like the sensing judging types, but they seek to feel that if something went wrong, uh, they'd be able to handle it. Nothing should be wrong. <laughs> the ESTP should be carefree and that they decide to uh, be in that relaxed state where they don't have to worry. But they want to know that, of course, if something were to go wrong, they'd be able to fix it and it would be no biggie. Beyond this, ESTPs are driven by that sense of satisfaction when you manage to achieve something, when you are able to solve a problem with your skills, when you're good enough to do something, when you are able to, if a new problem comes up, be smart enough to fix it. ESTPs are driven by seeing results and that sense of uh, Yes, when you get uh, that promotion, when you get that uh, uh, reward, when you get that sense of uh, uh, physical results from what you're doing that makes you feel like you've done something. You haven't, it hasn't just been in your head, it hasn't just been studies, it has given you something in practice. ESTPs uh, have, and I think this is uh, in many ways interesting, um, 
a sensitive side. It's actually uh, that it's not the case that the ESTPs don't have emotions. It's that uh, they are actually carrying a hidden sensitive side. And often uh, this is not easily seen by others because they are always talking about how good they're doing and how great their life is and how awesome everything is going. But uh, they can feel sensitive and they can feel hurt and they can feel uh, intensely when they feel like something uh, is wrong or like when they've done something wrong. So uh, I think while you might be given that sense that ESTPs and ENTPs for that matter don't have uh, anything that they would be hurt by, you'll be surprised. You can hurt an ESTP and uh, you might not understand it yourself when you actually do hurt them uh, because they are not necessarily so good at expressing how they are feeling or why they are feeling a certain way. With ESTPs you'll also find uh, surprisingly perhaps that uh, there is a problem with fear in the ESTP. Often while the ENTP can be portrayed as a little more of a daredevil at times, uh, the ESTP is actually not that go skydiving, go parachuting, go uh, be crazy guy. It's that ESTPs are generally, uh, <laughs> they, they have parties, they have fun, they love sensory trails, but they're not crazy about it. It's not that ESTPs uh, want to uh, risk their life. Uh, in fact, they are not those people because the, that would put them in the position of being the people who explore new things and who seek out new ideas and to test out new theories and to see what's dangerous and to try out new things. No, ESTPs enjoy ca casual trails, casual pleasure, casual... Uh, normal senses of uh, um, things that are good, that are nice, that we know are nice. ESTPs are also people that love uh, mass in a sense, that um, when something good has happened they want it to happen again and they want it to happen again and they want it to happen again more and more and more. It's that it's, There's a little gluttony to the ESTP in that they want a lot and they want it uh, intensely um, they want that uh, higher experience of something, the full experience of something. If they see uh, a <laughs> party disco light, of course they want to stand right under it. If they hear a concert, of course they want to stand right in the front of it. If they uh, get the chance to experience something, they want to experience it fully. So you'll, that's also a part of why they love the spotlight so much. That's where, of course, you get the richest experience of something. So I hope this video brought up and challenged some stereotypes about ESTPs and I hope it added some new information about the ESTPs. And as always, if you have any thoughts on this, feel free to leave comments down below and may your neurons be with you.